Hey everyone, I'm John, and I'm back with another video on updating R. This video, we're gonna get a little more in depth on updating R. Not R Studio, but R. I'm gonna give you two different ways that we can go ahead and update R, and hopefully, I think one of these ways is gonna work for those of you who are Mac users. I know in the past, I've done some videos where I've used packages that aren't available for Mac users. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step video that should help all of you get through this process. Before we do, take a second and hit that subscribe button. And if at the end of the video this helped you out, hit that like button as well. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so the first method that we're gonna do is for those of us who are using Windows computers because we're gonna use one of those packages that's only available on Windows computers. And that's the install R package. Now you can see I have RStudio open here, and in my console we can see that I have R 4.4.1. The current version is 4.4.2. Now there's really no way to check for updates in RStudio. It will only give us the RStudio updates that are available. So we can just go to the um, rproject.org website and uh, check to see what the latest release is there and download that. Later, we will see how to do that. For now, we're going to go ahead and show how to get it started in our studio. Now, the first thing we need to do is install the package that we want, which is install R. We're going to click on the packages tab, click install, and we'll start typing the name install R. Once that is there, we can click install. We see that the package has been installed successfully. Now we can library the package. Do install R. Package has been installed. Now we can use the command update R and enter. Now that gives us a pop up window saying there is a newer version of R for you to download. So you could use this package to check to see if there are updates available. We can go ahead and click OK. No, we don't need to see any news. If you want, you can, or you can go to the website to look at that. I'm going to click No for now. Do I want to install the latest version of R? I'm going to click Yes. Now, it gives us this question that it's saying it's you know best to run this through the R GUI, and by that it means running through R natively, not through R Studio, uh, even though it says the R GUI and there's a GUI option in this package. So do you want to continue it or do you want to stop and go to R? So if we click no, it will continue the process. And I'm going to do that for now so you guys can kind of see some of that process. I'm going to say yes to go ahead and install, pick English and next. And I'm going to stop here because this is the same process. If you're not comfortable doing it through R Studio uh, because you afraid there might be a couple issues or something like that since the program does recommend doing it through R then we're gonna stop here we're gonna switch over to R and then we'll see the same process there now you can install that package from R but obviously it's going to be a lot easier doing it through R studio go to the packages tab install uh, from R you have to select a, a repository and go through a long list so it's more difficult to do if you really want to see that you can check out the short that i did on updating r it shows those steps for now let's go ahead and switch to r i'm just going to search for r and i have it selected here this opens r we still need to library install r that it's available in R. We did that in R Studio, not necessarily available here. And we want to update R just like we did in R Studio. It's the same function names. We're going to hit enter. It's going to immediately start the same process. There's a newer version. Yes, we want to install it. No, we don't want to see the news. Yes, we wouldn't want to install the latest version and it's gonna start that process. We don't get that same uh, <clears throat> message window popping up saying it's best to do it through here. 
Now we can click through the uh, license use. It's going to default to the same place where we have it are in other versions stored. So I'm going to click next. Really don't need to change any of these options. Do you want to customize start option? You can select yes or no. I go with the default. I'm never using R directly, so the default is good. I don't want a shortcut in the start menu. I don't need that. I don't ever use it. You can look it up pretty quickly. It's one letter. So I'm going to say no on that. And I'm also going to do uncheck the create a desktop shortcut. I don't need that. I want to save the version number and associate R with .R data files. That way they will open in the 4.4.2 version. So I do have multiple versions of R installed on the computer and you can do that as well. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. We'll let this finish. Go ahead and click finish to exit. Do you wish to copy your packages? I do this. I don't want to have to reinstall them. This is going to copy all the packages over. They may not necessarily work, so you have to go through an update process to update them to work with 4.4.2. But I find that most of them are updating prior to me even updating R. So I'm going to say yes. Once your packages are copied, you want to keep the packages in the old R? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to keep those. And do I want to copy my dot site and our environment site from the older version? I'm going to say no here. And I wish to update my packages. See, we'll automatically do it for you. So we'll say yes there. After it's done all that, which can take a little while depending on your computer, do we wish to start the R GUI of your new R installation? And we'll say yes here. You can see it's restarted. So the new R GUI is up and running. We can close that now. We don't need to save the workspace image. And we will quit. And we go back to R Studio. Now you can see that we are still running 4.4.1 here. What we need to do is quit our studio, quit this session and reload it. We'll do our studio here. We're still on 4.4.1. So let's go into our tools, global options. Now you can see the R sessions, our R version is set to 4.4.1. We can change that. So it defaults back to a choose a specific version of R because I was running 4.4.1. So you can select the new one or you can check the box, use your machine's default 64-bit version. So you can see I've got multiple versions on here and you can install multiple versions if you need to go back to one that worked with something that you need to work with again. So we're going to change that to 4.4.2 or select the default version, which we, when we installed, we set that up to associate the dot R data files with this new version. We'll click OK. You need to quit, of course. OK, we're going to quit the session and we will open our studio again. Now we should see 4.4.2. We have the new pile of leaves version installed. So we are good to go there. Now, if we wanted to do this manually without having to use the install R package, what we can do is navigate to the website. This is www.r-project.org. Right at the top, we have download R, and we have to choose our preferred CRAN mirror. So we can go ahead and do that. I'm in the US, I'll pick one uh, in the US here. And here you see your options to download and install R. You have it for Linux, Mac OS, Windows. Under the Mac OS, notice you've got for Apple Silicon and for Intel Macs. So be sure to select the right one. So for Mac users, you should be able to download one of these package files and get R installed. For Windows users, download R for Windows. 
and you can click this install R for the first time. It really doesn't matter which CRAN mirror you select, they all look like this. It will pop open right at the top, download 4.4.2 for Windows, and we can go ahead and download that, save it. I'll save it to my downloads folder. And once we have saved that, we can go ahead and run that package from our downloads folder. You'll see it's the exact same installation file. Click yes, and we get the exact same process as we did before. So I don't need to go through this because it's the exact same process as the steps we took in the first method of updating R. So everything from here is exactly the same as the other method. If you need to download an earlier version of R, you can go ahead and do it through this method. Uh, they only go back to, I think, 4.4.0 or 4.3.0 in here, and you can find that in the archives uh, under the R binaries. And if you need something older than that, you can go to the CRAN archives and look it up there. But uh, occasionally you may find that you've got uh, an old package that you need to run and uh, you need the older version of R and you would use this same method to get that installed. And going back to R Studio, under the tools, global options, that first general option at the top left, our R version, we can change that and go back to a different version of R that's installed on our computer. So that's it for installing R and updating R. Now, the last thing you might wanna check, since we installed a new version of R, we wanna make sure that all the packages are updated. We did that in the install process, but let's just check here. Under the packages tab in R Studio, we can click update. We can see there's only one left that needs to be updated. We'll install the updates and that has now been updated. Now, before I did that install with R, I had about 30 packages that need to be updated. So that's what process to install R asks if the packages need to be updated. We can select yes there and it does it for us. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please post those in the comments. I'd be happy to try to help you out. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.